is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have a brand new wwe action figure surgery you guys know if you checked out yesterday's video we did get some brand new wwe action figure head sculpts for my man bew if you guys missed though that video definitely go check it out we cover all of our new custom head sculpts in detail when we go throughout those so if you guys missed out on that go check that out after this video or go watch that then come back of course but today man we're back with some surgery i got a buttload of jeff hardy custom head sculpts from BEW. We painted them up nice and I wanted to fit them in the Jeff Hardy collection. So I went through my collection yesterday and I tried to plan it out and figure out. I probably still don't have it perfectly and I don't have all of them utilized. I will have some left over, but I think I figured out what I want to do here. We're going to explain it. I'm going to take you guys through it, walk through it, whatever the case is. You guys can let me know your opinions on them and then we can feed off each other, of course. We also have some other things featured here that I'm excited about. So we are going to get into all that, man. But as you guys know, WWE action figure surgery is where we take regular WWE elite figures from my collection or ultimates or whatever the case is mix and match Frankenstein effort those guys together and mix and create our very own fix-ups customs things of that nature man so with all that being said let's dive into the figures that we have and we always start off with the guy on the stretcher so we're gonna start off with Rowdy Roddy Piper right here this is actually the Hollywood elite from they live you guys know the WWE elite series I looked in every store man I've never never seen this figure at retail until just the other day. I, well, you'll probably see it in the toy hunt this week. I went to my local Walmarts. Not only did I find this at my one location, I found it at my other location. So I found like six of this figure. I only bought two, so don't get crazy. I, I didn't get two in over my head. I just bought the two there. And I'm going to open them both. I'm going to make some customs. So I did want this one for this specific reason. I don't like that little black dot on the arm right there. But what we're going to do with this guy is we're going to actually be using this Shawn Michaels right here. And we're going going to restore, first of all, this Walmart exclusive flashback. We're going to restore it back to its original identity because I traded my other one, so I do want to put this guy back in shape so he can go on the shelf. And then we're also going to make a street clothes slash street fight slash sort of promo gear Shawn Michaels by putting that head sculpt over there over here. I know he'll be missing the bicep tattoo. I know it. Okay, I understand that. We are going to fix that at a later date. Didn't have the parts, I don't think. I probably do somewhere, but didn't have them on me, so we'll get into that but that is what we're going to do with Shawn Michaels I think that's going to be excellent and that's also why this basics back here because we need this head sculpt right here to go over there on our flashback elite so that is Shawn Michaels he should be excellent we also have his partner in crime longtime rival we do have this Triple H and this is actually an elite Triple H from way back in the day man I actually had this made way before the ultimate edition came out I had this this Triple H custom made it is his early 2000s look with the silver lettering and the boots are super duper loose like super super loose. It's given me problems like like five, six years ago. This figure used to follow my shelf all the damn time. Uh, it, it, since we do have, I have a couple of the Ultimate Edition now, but we are going to put on the newly painted head from BEW. It's like the Jax R3 head. We're going to put that on here, and we're also going to change out his boots because these are way too loose. So I do have some like better looking ones and newer ones here. We're going to stick these on here to fix him, and then put this head sculpt on there to kind of create a new Triple H fix up. I think it'll look a hundred times better than the one we got right here. So I'm pretty excited for that. Not the craziest fix up, but I think it's going to do wonders. This is also the kick pads that go on that Shawn Michaels over there. So we can have that. Now the rest are just Jeff Hardy's, man. Like we have a ton of Jeff Hardy figures and this should be really fun. I feel like the action figure surgery episodes that focus on one character seem to do better than the ones that kind of venture off there. But you guys can let me know what you think about that. We do have quite a few head sculpts down here that we're going to fix up here and I'm just going to run through it right quick. So, okay. So this first one over here is actually a loose Jeff Jeff Hardy fodder that I had in my baggie. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to stick these black arms in here. So I'm going to stick that up in there. And then I'm going to put on the Cyber Sunday head. So this is our Cyber Sunday Jeff Hardy head sculpt from yesterday's video. Again, if you guys missed that. But this on here and then putting these black arms on there is going to make for the perfect base to finish the custom. So at a later date, not today because I have so much going on, I am going to have to fix the belt and also add some neck paint and stuff like that to find finally fix up the Cyber Sunday jet, but it'll be a 
perfect base for it, and that's what we're going for here today. Oh, Christ. So we do have that, Jeff. I think that'll work out pretty dead gum good. Next up, we have the Elite 75 Hardy. Now, this really doesn't have anything to do with the custom head sculpts, but I had this extra Elite 84 head, and I already have a base Elite 84, I think, somewhere. Maybe I don't. I know I have a couple fix-up ones. I put one on the Elite 67, and I put one on the, not Top Picks body, but the FYE 2-Pack Hardy Boy body. I may put the Elite 84 on the new Top Picks body body at some point but i think this head on this body would look sick as hell and i have a bunch of this figure too so i think that would make a really cool fix up with the paint and stuff like that of course it's missing all the tattoos but what are we gonna do one day i'll go through my collection and whichever ones are missing tattoos i'll just add them all via decal or something but i think that'll be a pretty cool fix up right there he also has the necklace on it so that'll kind of complete the look there we also have this two fix up right here i think i want to say it was like an action figure appointment or something we used the elite 84 chase Hardy. I should have grabbed that one at ToyCon just a, like, you know, a few weeks ago, but I do have this fix-up Hardy right here. I'm going to put this basic, the new basic Hardy head, you know, maybe I th besides the top picks, his last figure in WWE or from Mattel. I'm going to put this head over on this body because it does have all the tattoo work. This one is lacking all the tattoos, and this one also has interchangeable hands, so we're going to put this head over here, and then this head, I guess, is going to go into the extra bin. I don't really have an idea for it, but I am going to put the white phantom head onto this body here. So I'm going to leave the shirt. I might switch the necklace over here, but I think the white phantom head will look sick over here with this belt loop design and the white and black sleeve. So I think that'll look pretty clean there. I think putting the necklace in this head over here and then this will go into the extra storage bin for future hardy fix-ups and customs and things. And then this shirt can stay here probably. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. But that's what I'm thinking for that hardy over there. Next up, I feel like we had something. What else did we have? Maybe it was, maybe it was, I feel like this was supposed to have something. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe this was supposed to go on here. I think this head, okay, I think that's actually it. The white phantom head is supposed to go on this body. Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. So one of the Jeff Hardy heads or bodies is going to be completely empty, but the white phantom head is supposed to go on that one. That makes a lot more sense to me. Next up, we're going to restore our Epic Moments Hardy. I've fixed this figure up a lot, but I think it's finally time for him to go back to his base form, and he's going to put the cartoony -ish Mattel head. This will be, you know, making this figure completely stock from when it first came out. That's a set that I really want to get men on card, you know. It, it, being a you know, a mock collector now kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's pretty fire. But gonna put this head back on here, restore that. This will be another extra head that we have laying around. Tons of hardy heads, man. That's why we get all these customs made is because of that reason. And then last but not least, we do have our, you know, our nice handsome hardy with the red and the purple here. I think what I want to do is take my my entrance grates and put this on here. I know I need like an Ultimate Edition necklace or Elite 75 necklace or something. I gotta have something on here. I don't know what I want to do just yet, but I think this head on this body is perfect, and then I'll probably end up ordering another entrance grates because after I do this fix up, I will not have any stock entrance grates, Jeff Hardy, and so I will want that, but this going on here would it will probably be freaking beautiful, so we are gonna do that. I'll get a necklace at a later date, and then I think these two are in the back just for possible looks because I wanted to show you guys these options that we have right here. So you guys can see these two figures here. I could not figure out a body for this head. I didn't know if that would look good or this would look good. And then the skull head. The, the, the two, my two favorite ones I really don't have a look for. Like that obviously looks pretty damn cool and then that one looks okay. This one also looked pretty cool in the epic moments but still kind of you know trying to figure all that out. But anyways man, what we're going to do is dive into surgery. I'm going to leave these out for now. These may have to do like their own customs like you know like head to toe i may have to just work on that or maybe the unrivaled figure will be badass for these or something but anyways man let's shut the hell up dive into surgery and get the hell out of here all right man starting off our surgery first i think what we're gonna start with is hbk and roddy right here so i think getting all three of these head sculpts in here should be relatively simple hopefully you know i think i'm gonna use that roddy and probably fix up my hall of fame or not hall of fame but legends figure that we got not too long ago because i i'd like this head sculpt a lot i think it'll be really sick on that figure. I did not like the one it came with, so we'll see about that, see what comes of that. And after this, maybe we can knock out some of these hardies and stuff like that. But this is what we gotta start with. It sucks because we're gonna have to heat up the lower part as well, but I guess we can do that when we do Triple H. So actually, we may need to go ahead and heat up Triple H as well, maybe? Uh, yeah, I think I am. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That way we can just knock all these out at once. And I'll try to do, I guess I'll try to do all the hardies.
party heads at once as well. That way, you know, you don't want to get too convoluted. You don't want to try for... When you're dealing with some of these figures, man, you don't want to snap their necks. You know how sometimes that happens on surgery, but you guys know the legend has returned. Hall of Fame, MDT Hall of Fame, white trusty hair dryer. You guys know. Probably the... If I ever did a Hall of Fame induction ceremony for the channel, I feel like the white trusty hair dryer and the trusty knife would have to go in first ballot, no doubt about it. Like, unanimous decision, those guys are going in, but let's heat this ish up. All right, man, hopefully that does the case. We'll have to find the hell out, man. Uh, do not want to snap these. I'm going to start with the basic because basics don't matter. <laughs> huh. Oh, my God. Why does that hurt me so good? All right, both of those were relatively simple. Did this get heated up enough? Of course not, Bradley. Come on. Be smarter than that. I feel like going slow is the best, you know, best policy, you know, just kind of get up under there and slowly. Okay, that head sculpt right there is thickums, Brad. Holy crap. Woo! I had to do that incredibly slow. I had to do that one so slow, I had to do it off camera. I apologize for that. However, now we can pop on this Sean head, so that's pretty cool. We'll lay him over to the sidesies. We got the flashback head that we can pop back onto the flashback body which is cool and then these two can get the hell out of here no but seriously though they can go off to the side uh we're not done with this triple h i think we're done with sean this triple h we're not done with i think i can pop the custom head on here though without much trouble i did like dig it out a little bit so yeah i think i think that does the trick however we do have to heat up their feet though so technically not done with them there but that can go over there. We do have to heat up their feet, though. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in position here. We'll go ahead and heat those up. And then we do have our black boots we got to heat up as well. And, I mean, while we're in position, man, we might as well just knock out a couple other things, right? I mean, we don't, we don't want to just sit here and waste trusty hairdryer minutes. So I guess now we can, I'll put the entrance grates head right here. Boots, however, you know, you don't have to heat them up near as long as heads, especially the older heads like that. I feel like the newer heads are the ones that you really got to work on, except for like brand new heads. Brand new heads, you know, they don't require any heat, which is very nice, but the white trusty hairdryer has to cut back his hours and he doesn't like that. So another thing that we can obviously do is we can heat these arms up. I feel like that's something we can do. So these arms right here that go on the fodder Jeff Hardy, you know, body that we were talking about that I had to super glue back together um let's see I'm trying to think here i just want to make sure all these custom head sculpts are off in the distance man you don't want those anywhere near your heat especially like when they're sealed up like that they'll melt that hoe right off this head however doesn't even have to have heat so that's nice so we'll see about that i mean we may be able to go for it all kind of chunk up a hell mary here first thing we're going to do though is we're going to remove this shirt i don't want the shirt to be anywhere near there you know that's one of those other things there so god dude those basic heads they make me so nervous god in heaven okay gonna remove the towel from the elite 84 chase this is so stupid what are we doing oh god what are we doing i do have to heat up this head as well because it goes on the elite 75 and the elite 75 is right here and then we also have this head this is so stupid bro oh my goodness i mean i'm gonna attempt it anyway because you gotta risk it to get the biscuit all right man this is literally all we have left i mean it's a lot of swaps but i think we're it's possible it's possible i don't I don't know if it's gonna be doable, but it's possible. Alright man, here we go. Game time. I'm very terrified right now, but we're gonna just go for it anyway. Elite 75 Jeff head that we're gonna be putting the Elite 84 head on. Oh god, I gotta do this off camera. It's one of those thickums. Woo! All right, we got that one. That's very nice. Now plop this head on here and never move it again. Got that one on there, perfection. Next up, this head. Boom, got it, never look at it again. All right, next. That's a custom head sculpts going on here. Don't have to worry about that one right now. This one, got it off, beautiful. The epic moments head goes back on this one. Boom, got it. Next up is this head swap. Got that one off. Now, this one's the one that I'm kind of the most worried about because it's one of those newer basics. 
Got it. Put it over here. Wait, don't forget the necklace. Don't forget the necklace. Get the necklace off. It's very, very flimsy because it's heated up. You know, it could probably snap in half at any given second. Basic head. Elite 84 body. Got it. Uh, this one, I don't think we had plans for, so that's cool. These arms go on to this little fodder body right here, which is beautiful. Excellent. God, their shoulders are non-existent. That's a, that's definitely a problem. Uh, this head had no home, so we have like four headless Jeffs over here. Look at these quality Jeff heads over here. Just no home to be found. All right, so then we got to switch these. This foot goes onto this kick pad, I do believe. This is going to be a pain in the arse. All right, that goes on there, and then we plop that back on right there, and then pop that off. I don't... I think it's Hurricane is what those other lower legs are from, but they... The feet actually go with Shawn Michaels, so... And I think they're two different sizes, so that never worked out, but now he is back to his original state, and then triple... H boots. These are actually not heated up really at all, so that's kind of unfortunate. And he lost his water bottle. Um, that goes on there, and then hopefully these are two different. Like, I didn't put the same boots back on. I didn't really pay attention to that, but he did just fumble his water bottle. But there's Triple H, and then all we have to do now is put our custom heads onto our other bodies. Where the hell did that water bottle go? Damn, my hamstring is tight. Don't like it. Anyway, this body. Entrance Great's body will be for this head which is this one right here all right got that on there all right and then this like look at this that didn't work out it's because this uh this torso was just laying in a bag and then i glued it to these legs so it's just like really wobbly man but we might as well just put it on there just to have it and then i can just i guess i'm gonna be buying two entrance greats jeff hardy and then switching the stuff but you know we'll look at that in in a second anyway i know it's loosey-goosey but at least you get the visual and then the Elite 71 pink head can go over here with our collection of heads. Like, look at all this face paint over here that's not even being utilized. And then we can plop the Widow face paint onto this body, which is the Elite 84 Chase body. And I guess we could throw the shirt on there, wherever that shirt is. I can't even find it now. Ah, so here you go. Throw that on there. Cool. And then the piece that I was really excited about is actually this necklace over here that I wanted to put onto this Sean. So this little necklace, plop that on there. And boom. All right, man, so taking a look at everything that we got here today. Pretty damn good stuff, man. Pretty damn good stuff. I'm actually excited for all of it. Let's start off with Triple H. I think this turned out pretty damn fantastic, honestly. I think BEW captured the skin tone pretty good. I, I love it. I love the boots now. Like, you you have no idea. When I when I used to look at this figure in my collection, I would immediately think I got to prop him up on something. But now he stands, bro. He stands like a unit. And now he will never knock over my shelf ever again. He looks damn good while doing it. I like that piece a lot, right? Right there next up is probably the most underrated figure in today's in today's whole deal here and that's this promo street gear sort of Shawn michaels again we will fix it i don't know if i should put the white tape on it with the with the i'm definitely putting the bicep in there we're gonna fix that i don't know if i want to put white tape or just leave it as is maybe put a, a watch on it or something and then i may put the cowboy boots on there but the brown boots right here aren't aren't terrible i mean you know it, it doesn't bother me that much there so we'll see about that however i do like the way Shawn looks he looks insane i I think this is probably like fix up of the day for me even though we have all these sick customs this one's just one of those clean ones that you can get away with and then the necklace i don't even know what this is from but it sets it off perfectly just beautiful good stuff next up we have the the uh, cyber sunday jeff right here which looks really really good i love it except you guys know it's it's just it's kind of busted we're gonna have to get another entrance grace jeff paint it up put these arms on that figure which you know, it's not that big of a deal, but at least we know what we're looking at. We know what it looks like. I can use these arms easily. It's not that big of a deal, uh, but uh, this was fodder anyway. It's not like this was a whole elite that got ruined. This was already just sitting in my fodder box, so not a heavy loss, but it still looks really cool, and we'll see what that looks like when he's not lobby-dobby all over the damn place. Next up is Elite 75 with the Elite 84 Chase head, and again, missing tattoos, but still, like, this face paint bleeds perfectly into the body paint down the sleeve here. It does have, like, some paint 
paint rub on the top of the head for some reason, but the white tank top, face paint, black, all the, you know, you kind of get like some offset deals going on, but this is really clean, goes together, will look nice up on the shelf, and it's another Jeff Hardy fix-up, which is sick. Next up is our white Phantom attire, and this looks damn cool, bro. I like this a lot. You know, the shirt doesn't, you know, it's not the best ever, but I still think this goes uh, well together, you know. I think the white belt sets it off too, like if you remove this shirt, you know, he could wrestle on the shirt and then take it off. He does have like all of his tattoos on there, so it's kind of a modern take on Jeff Hardy there with the, you know, the white Phantom face paint and stuff like that. Love it. I think it turned out great. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'd love to know what your favorite fix-up is, and then what's your favorite Jeff fix-up out of all the different ones that we got here today. We do have like our 09 sort of era Jeff. Now I know a few things would set this thing off, like if it had some lime green in the belt or some, you know, the purple necklace like with the Jeff Hardy logo from the Ultimate Edition or, you know, some different sleeve colors, it would probably set it off more, but I do like the shoulder tattoo with this head with the longer hair. It's very beautiful. I hate that we never got this kind of look from Mattel, you know, like with this straight face with the longer hair and the red and the purple and then the blonde tied in and then some different, you know, stuff going on. We probably would have eventually, you know, they were pumping Jeff out like ad, ad nauseum, but I was here for it. You know, I have, I have like 70 Jeff elites. So, you know, I'm, I'm all here for the Jeff figures, but there's another fix up that looks beautiful. We have the updated version of the white basic Jeff with the necklace with all the tattoos. Last time we saw him, he didn't have any tattoos. So he, he's looking a lot better now. Not my favorite basic head, but I've made it a point to get every face paint Jeff basic and convert it into an elite that I like. I'm only missing that terrible green and blue one that looked god awful as a basic. Still working on that one. We'll see that one day. We do have our rejuvenated elites here to finish us off. We have the epic moments Jeff rejuvenated and then the flashback Walmart exclusive Sean rejuvenated. Now they can go back on their respective shelves and uh, you know they'll they'll be looking pretty damn good. Uh, you know I, I can't really disagree with it there but lots of fix ups today. Let's see how many figures we had in total here as we line them all up and then you guys can let me know which one you like the most. Again we do have a headless Jeff over here that was not mentioned and we have a lot more figures to you know uh, commemorate with those head sculpts. So we have a lot of Jeff heads now just chilling. Will they be new customs? We'll have to find out but there's all our figures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different elites now fixed up here today on action figure surgery but that's gonna wrap it up man thank you guys so very much for watching i hope that you guys did enjoy the episode let me know your thoughts down below and let me know your favorite fix up i think i want to go team hbk man really love the way that came out i think that's sick as hell uh, out of all the Jeffs, I really like this one, I think. I think this is my favorite. I also love the White Phantom there, but I think this one is my all-time favorite today, at least. So we'll see about that, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and don't cross the line like this damn Jeff right here. Look at this right here. This figure, you right here, you. You cross the line.